how often do you hit your centerpiece a week? Oh, my centerpiece. <laughs> no, I do train legs three to four times a week. Like you said, like it's your centerpiece. That's like, you gotta hit it from every angle, right? You gotta hit it from every angle to have a round full muscle. Same thing for glutes. You gotta hit it from every angle. So really scoop down, squeeze from the bottom, and really hit trust, um, and then really contract the muscle and hold it, and slow and steady, control your movement, your negative and your positive. No, I do not do wellness. Look at that. Here, Jenny. Uh, Frida. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I'm always running 100 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get this water in, so you know, flush this water out. <laughs> get some product shooting in. Such a good butt. It's like you want. I mean, that's the thing. Is girls want to look good in their butts in their tights. So it's like, them up. yeah. And she didn't have underwear on either. I should take them off because that will show. And all the guys in the comments say, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, love the look. Um, I love the more dominant lower body. I've always loved that look. Uh, that the Brazilians are bringing to the table kind of thing. Um, we've had wellness in Sweden for longer than we have it here. And kind of the same, uh, but what really pushed me over is I wasn't able to work out for bikini. Like, I didn't touch legs for years. It was little booty pumps here and there and a little, you know, something, something. You know, it wasn't a real workout. And since I come from a background of playing soccer and training hard and being athletic, like, I miss it. Like, that's why I started doing all this, right? So that's what really pushed me over the edge to be like, okay, let's take a leap of faith and just go for it. Um, so we did that, and uh, I, it's the best decision I've done. You know, it's easy for me telling that this girl's hot, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's impressive, it's... And either, even other divisions, it's impressive in my opinion. Like, I personally wouldn't want to look like that, but I can go and look at him and be like, wow, shit, she put in a lot of work for that, you know? That's her flow or her symmetry or her just muscle maturity, whatever it might be, like, it's still impressive, right? And we do talk about that, girls to girls, you know? And especially, like, just seeing some random, like, oh my god, her butt's good, like, damn. I don't even know if boys talk about it more than girls, I think. At least in this industry, I think, as girls, we kind of on top of the list of that one. <laughs> Our little extra exercise that we call the stripper, me and my trainer, um, it's really kind of feeling like a reverse um, RDL, actually. Targets my uh, my hamstring and my tiny area, the best exercise I've done for that. So, really squatting down and then pushing your glutes up and out and up, really like a little stripper, pushing them up. And feeling that really stretching contraction in your hamstrings and really targeting your, your tiny area. <laughs> So when we do our hip thrust, there is different different, different variations. You can do the group uh, group bridge, or you can do a hip thrust. You can have your your back and your feet elevated, just your feet elevated, just your back elevated. So you just gotta find 
there's not a right and wrong. There's obviously different exercises, but find what works best for you. Obviously, they target a little bit different, but you're also going to feel a little different. So, depends on how long your legs are, and that is a long story. But uh, find what works for you, right? Um, <clears throat> for me, having my legs a little further away will target my hamstring a little bit more. Uh, having them a little tighter together will target my, my hamstring a little bit more. Pushing them out will target my glute a little bit more. Um, but the main focus for me is you know, keeping my chin down, keep my core tight, having that scoop. So you're not just pushing way up and down, you're really going down and scooping and squeezing your butt. And like my trainer and other people would say, sweep your butthole, please. It helps. <laughs> so really scoop down, squeeze from the bottom and really hit trust up, like press it forward and really push it up. You don't, if you really squeeze it up, you're not going to be able to go all the way up, right? You don't need that. You just need that really scoop and squeeze. Um, and then really contract the muscle and hold it. And slow and steady, control your movement, your negative and your positive. So. so that was kind of my wellness debut, the Pittsburgh Pro in 2021. But kind of don't count it, but kind of count it because I didn't prep for it. So I feel like this show that I just did now, um, a couple of weeks ago in City, that was for me really feeling like, this is my 100%, this is the best that I've loved, this is, I've given everything to this prep, I've probably never been so focused and, you know, on top of my shit um, as I've been since I started working with Jamie and Fit Body Fusion. We've been really putting in hard work and then I've built this for my entire life, right? So I can't put a, I can't put a number of years or months or whatever on it. It's taken my, my entire life of playing soccer, of starting lifting in 2014, Started competing in 2014 and just going from there, falling in love with the lifestyle. That's it.